Um, so Biome is a research and development-led company that was founded in 2016 to change perceptions and revolutionise the built environment by bringing nature's genius into the way that we operate and create materials and products. Um, so we're developing bio-based materials, uh, nature-based construction systems, as well as also a range of services that enable multinationals to decarbonise. I think for us the circular economy um, is at the core of everything we do. And that's because we're very much driven by nature and natural systems and biological processes. And in nature there is no waste and the nutrient cycles inspire how we think of our production processes. Um, so our basis is all about managing resources in a way that appreciates their value, but also increases their value over time and demonstrates that we can meet all of our high performance needs from something like construction product but still ensure that there's social equity embedded in the product and that it's environmentally climate positive. So Biome was uh, founded after a long research journey into looking at the waste streams in the UK and the impact that materials have on our health and on the uh, planet in general. And uh, one thing that came, became very clear is that the amount of extraction that's happening, the resource depletion that's taken place, was um, resulting in so many uh, maybe unintended consequences and a kind of butterfly effect that's resulting in all kinds of environmental uh, crises. And I think that resulted in us um, kind of ensuring that if we're ever going to develop a material or a product that's going to go into the construction industry, it would have to be circular and it would have to be uh, completely regenerative from start to finish, considering the entire life cycle. I think we probably chose um, the most challenging industry to bring a new innovative product into. Um, the construction industry has been quite rigid and static for quite a long time and standards and regulations have not quite caught up with the advancement of technologies. So I think something that we found quite challenging was enabling our technologies to be accredited by conventional uh, industry standards whilst at the same time uh, pushing the boundaries with innovation and, and new technologies. And because we grow our materials, so we have a grown building insulation product, um, you're not really able to test it in the same way that you would test a plastic insulation product, for example. Um, so what we've had to do is work very closely with the building board of Anchorman, who have been incredibly supportive in finding ways of enabling such innovations to come into the, the market and not have accreditation be a kind of barrier as it has been uh, generally in the past. Um, I think one of our key successes is seeing that we have really changed perceptions in uh, giant multinationals uh, operations and the way that they work and seeing that impact firsthand and seeing that uh, we've actually been able to um, change the way a large organisation works and in turn that resulted in huge environmental um, benefits. I think that was something that is uh, a really rewarding thing to see um, but also I think bringing materials and products um, from TRL 0 all the way to TRL 9 and launching them in a way that is commercially viable uh, in such a difficult industry whilst there's a pandemic and all those things. I think a huge achievement is just how uh, resilient the team has been and how we've managed to push through all those things and still continue to uh, progress towards our goal of really um, you know, revolutionising the way the industry works. So I think we've, um, yeah, we're really proud of how we've done so far, but I think there's still so much more for us to do. Well, I think something that is often overlooked within the circular economy is um, that there's a huge financial and economic benefit from working in a circular manner. And that's because you start your production process with a waste stream, for example, uh, in our case. And with that waste stream, we collect it and we charge a service to collect that waste stream. So you're starting your production with a positive cash position. And I think something like that, that enables us to create circular relationships between different stakeholders and circular business models around the product, so it's not just a product, um, enables the circular economy to have a much wider impact, but also ensures that there's always a commercial viability uh, stream being considered. I think there are a number of changes required for greater adoption of the circular economy. Um, one of them is um, kind of a re-examination of our standards and regulations and ensuring that they're more dynamic. Um, another area will be looking at policies, especially waste management policies. They're not quite um, you know, uh, as clear-cut as they need to be in, in certain uh, areas within the circular economy. 
And the final thing is, I guess, just more adoption and more open-mindedness from the construction industry, um, that natural materials can outperform synthetic alternatives. We're proving that against standards, um, and we're able to recirculate waste and improve the value of that resource uh, infin infinitely. Um, so I think it's just a perception change, which is happening in an amazing way and in ways that we've never seen before. I think a lot of the conversations we have today would have been laughable five years ago, and now we're being taken in a much more uh, serious manner in the industry. Um, so I think perception change uh, is, has been really incredible, but it could still, I think, go a bit further. I would say uh, when looking to develop or build a circular business, um, I think one of the critical things is to really hone in on the systems and the business model and the relationships between all the different stakeholders before you kind of uh, jump into things. And the reason I say that is because you can find there are some incredible shortcuts and leaps that can be achieved through collaborating and through working with uh, uh, other stakeholders. And that's because the circular economy is impossible to deliver and work with them without collaboration. Um, so I think um, have a kind of collaborative st spirit and make sure that you spend a lot of time developing the business model, ensuring that there aren't any outputs that aren't considered. Every output becomes an input for another system, financially, environmentally and socially as well.